out of the courtroom. Okay, the defendant having previously been, um, has he been adjudicated? adjudicated of 17 counts of murder in the first degree, the jury having returned a verdict of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole, is there any legal reason why I should not impose a sentence at this time? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And that is under 921.143, the victims under counts 1 through 17, and also the surviving victims of the attempted homicides have a right to express themselves as to the um, everything that could not be expressed under victim impact, they can express themselves as to crime and what they think should have been the appropriate disposition and sentence. That is, it is anticipated that that could be a lengthy sentencing hearing because it applies to all 34 counts of the indictment. Okay, are you prepared to present that testimony now? No, we're not, Your Honor. And under the statute, it says that the victims have a right to present that testimony. And also, as you know, under the Florida Constitution, the victims have a right to be heard and that the victim should present that testimony before you announce sentence. Okay, when uh, can we do that on November 1st, which is a Tuesday? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'll reset the sentencing for November 1st, Tuesday at 9 a.m. So the defendant will remain in the custody of the Broward Sheriff's Office until such time as he's sentenced. Thank you, Your Honor. Is there anything else for today? Nothing from the defense, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. We're in recess.